everybody. How are you guys doing? I'm here on my desk and I redid this um, Rolodex. Um, I altered it a little bit. If you want to see the video, it is a two hour long video or three hour long video because it was a live stream. You can always speed it up um, and you'll watch how this became what it is now. Oh, give me one second. I still have my injury. I'm still barely getting around. So, I hope you guys are patient with me. I have a huge mess on my desk, as you can see. But in that video, well, first of all, this is inspired by Mark Montano. And it's a Rolodex inside is I have it mostly empty and I have some of my cards in there that I've altered oh, um, I decided that I want to put some daisies on the front or all over maybe one daisy maybe three daisies maybe a bunch of daisies I'm not too sure but I'm not too good at making daisies. I'm What I'm good at is making my fantasy flowers. And if you want to check out my fantasy flowers, they're really awesome, awesome mixed media looking flowers. They're really, really nice. I call them fantasy flowers. Been calling them fantasy flowers for over five, six years. Um, others have picked up the technique. But yeah, um, there's a playlist called Secrets Fantasy Flowers, something like that, but I know that they're called Fantasy Flowers. So th those flowers I'm really, really good at making. But I want to make some daisies. Although daisies sound quite, sorry for my ring light. Daisies sound quite easy to do. I don't tend to be able to make your average flower. One, my brain doesn't seem to want to wrap around it. And two, I kind of refuse to do what the average flower looks like. Not an average flower. All flowers are beautiful. But I tend to not want to do anything that is standard or cookie cutter. I tend to want to rock my own way. But for this instance, I actually do want to make daisies that look like daisies. So last night I was sitting here practicing. I used and tried, I'll show you in a second, let me grab my rag, I did a lot of um, practicing with these brushes here, to make daisies, uh, they came out okay, they don't look exactly like daisies, and today I just said, well, let me just turn on the camera so I can get a video up and hang out with you guys and practice doing daisies. So that's what this canvas is for, for me to practice um, my daisies and see what, I, see what I can come up with and see if I can get myself to be able to make daisies. I'm using some Liquitex. I need to use the Liquitex up, um, my fancy paints up, because I don't want them to dry out. I don't want them to go to waste. Basically, I don't want to leave this earth <laughs> without trying them on or without using them up. What's the worst that can happen? I create a lot of beautiful paintings using up the paint and then I run out of maybe one or two and hopefully I can replace it and if I can't it's not the end of the world so what you see here is all the little daisies I was practicing last night I like this one in particular but it's not a daisy I am open to the thought of um, not doing the daisy but we'll see I really want to do white daisies so can you see over here I have a clear acrylic palette. I have my seashell. And I'm just going to load up my brush with white. What brush is this? It just says five. Do 
don't know. And then grab some yellow. And then give it a try. I mean, they're pretty flowers. Even just like that, it kind of looks like a lotus. But I really would like to do a daisy. And when you watch the tutorials, It looks easier than done. That one's pretty, actually. We might have the right brush. Let's try again. So, let me get you a little closer. What I'm doing is I'm pushing down and then bringing up. So I'm pushing down, pulling, and then bringing up. I mainly, mainly want them white. Pushing down. And I'm pulling up. Pushing down. Pulling up. Push down. Up. I think I got it. Maybe. And then once we add the middle, we can clean it up really nice. But yeah. Practice when there's something that um, you really, really want. Practice, practice on a piece of paper, anything you have. I like to practice on whatever I have near me. I have this canvas near me, and I figured whatever I do to the canvas, it'll eventually become a background, and then I can create on top of it. You know what I should actually do? Is bring up an image of a daisy. That'll probably help, right? Duh! Let's bring, let me bring up an image. Oh, the pesky ring light right there. Okay. Um... I'll do it on Pinterest. And then we'll look up daisies, painted daisies. All right, we got a few. They look so simple. They really do. Okay, I think my my leaves are a little too close together. Yeah, there's no opening. I need a little more opening. And I'm drinking my coffee. Hmm. It's really pretty though. There's different kind of daisies. Okay, I have an image right here. Let's see. Alright. Load up 
with this brush. Find a spot. I'm putting a lot of pressure down. And then I'm going to bring it up the same way. I think I need a little more room in between. Not yet, guys. I haven't got it yet. Can you guys see? Again. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I need to switch out my brush. Maybe it is the brush. So far it's the closest, so I'm going to keep that close by, but I'm going to check to see if I have another brush. Try this brush. This is eight artist loft. What I'm going to do is grab whatever's on here and run it through. There we go. And then shape out your brush. Not really. I don't like any of my paint to go to waste, so I'll just, I usually clean off my brush on anything around me that I can reuse. Definitely not this one. It's all in the brush, I see. Let's try this one here. This is number six. Number nine. Definitely not. No, not it. Not it. Maybe 
this one, one fourth. I'm running out of space. It's okay. It just doesn't look like a daisy to me. Okay, so no to that one. again. Well, kind of. Hmm. I just need the right brush. But that's not going to stop me. Still going to figure it out. Creating a pretty flower is just not what I have in mind. Okay, no to that one. I'm getting a white wash here. let this dry and then I'm going to continue practicing. As soon as I get it down, we're going to put it on the Rolodex. And if I can't get it down, then we'll just do another flower. But I'm going to sit here and watch some YouTube videos and look at Pinterest a little bit more and see, oh and maybe some YouTube videos and, and see if I have the brush that everybody's using. And if not, I'll just become familiar with the brush that I have and figure out what to do. Okay, I'll catch you guys a little later. Um, have a great day. Thanks for <laughs> watching me do this. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Don't forget to thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.